Hey there, I'm associate producer Ralph Garcia, and for anyone with a digital camera out there, here are three tips to make your photos better. Tip number one, composition. Every time you take a picture, you're telling a story. Don't let distracting items in the background take away from that story. Check out this photo. The girl's got a big pole coming out of her head. Not good. Also, when you have your subject ready, don't crop at the hands and feet. It looks weird. Push in just a little more and you'll have the nice balance you're looking for. It's good to remember the rule of thirds in photography. Imagine your viewfinder cut into three parts, both horizontally and vertically. That creates four points of interest. Here's a photo of Julie in San Francisco. Now it's not a perfect photo, but I really like how the boats are on the left side and she's on the right side. It has a lot of balance and it looks nice to me. The last thing I gotta say about composition is, guess what? You were not created at the perfect height to take all photos. Get up, get down, get high, get low, get where your subject is, especially when it comes to kids and pets. Now here's my dog, Jack. Getting down to his level does two things for me. One, it really brings out his personality. Look at that face. And two, it hides the fact that I have the world's worst backyard. Tip number two, focus. There's nothing worse than a blurry photo. It can ruin a moment. The solution can be as easy as holding your shutter halfway down before you take the photo. All these new cameras come with great autofocus, and some of them even have face detection. If you're on a camera phone, it might be a little trickier because you have to actually touch your screen to take the picture. Here's what you can do. Bring your camera phone close to your body, elbows in, and then touch the screen gently. Tip number three, camera settings. Know your modes. All new digital cameras come with a variety of settings that can really help you in different situations. Some common settings include macro, this is used for taking close-up pictures, whether it be a flower or a ring. Portrait. This setting is good for close-ups and beauty shots. It's going to keep your subject in focus and make your background blurry to make a Hollywood dream look. Landscape. This is the opposite of the portrait mode. It's going to put everything in focus so your entire scene can be nice and sharp. This setting would be good in the mountains or at the beach or anytime you're trying to capture nature. Sports mode. This is going to use a fast shutter speed on your camera. And that's great if you're trying to capture the action at your kid's baseball or soccer game. Night portrait. Now keep in mind, this mode is best used on a tripod because it takes longer to snap the photo since more light has to get into the camera. Thanks a lot everyone. I hope you learned something from this tutorial. Happy picture taking and have a great day.